Hey guys, welcome to Triacme Redline. Gonna go through task six. Seems like a bunch of people are getting stuck on it. Gonna show you what I did. Let's start up the machines. When you're logged in, at the bottom left corner, you'll notice the red line and the mandiant icons have been placed there for your convenience. I double clicked on the mandiant to open that one first. This is used to create your indicator of compromise. takes a few minutes to load just be patient this is what mandiant looks like once it's opened up and loaded next I opened up file explorer And my selected path here was this PC. Documents, analysis, sessions, analysis session one. And I double clicked on the red analysis session one. This automatically will load up red line for you. It's going to take a while. Just let the program run. As you can see, it's got to get through a lot of load time. I estimate anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes, depending on your internet speed. Just be patient and let the program run its full course.
once it is fully completed you can maximize your red line screen and on the left hand side is a column with all the loaded details Back in Mandiant, open it up as you had it. Now we're going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it IOC. Click OK and wait for this to load. It does present an error sometimes. Just ignore the error, it's very common. There's the error, just press OK. Move to the top. Choose File, Open, IOC Directory, and select your IOC file created, and click OK. It should work this time. It worked. Now we'll go back to the top of the screen. Once it finishes loading, going to click file now new and a new indicator now you can change the name and the author and the description to whatever you want I'm going to call mine task 6 IOC and the author put anything hacker me and the description task 6 red line IOC now go to the add items click on the item select file item scroll down to the bottom of the right hand pop-up and find file strings and select it click on it now enter the file strings that we were given in the task there's the first one the 2021105 file string my copy and paste seems to be letting me down so I'm going to have to enter it manually. Just double click on it again and enter 20210513173819000 u0 equals and hit enter. Now I'm going to repeat the exact same process. Click item, files, item, file string again. It's at the bottom. Scroll down. 
click on it. Now I'm going to enter the second file string that we were given. Hit enter. And at the bottom right, I'm going to click on OK. Now you should see that it's produced what you want on the top left column. Now we're moving back to red line. Go to the bottom left corner. Internet IOC, sorry, IOC reports. Create new IOC report. Click on that. Then go to browse. And now you're going to select local disk, users, administrator, desktop, ISC, and say select folder. Now you will see the exact same name of the IOC that you created in Mandiant appear on the left here. Click on that. You can double check your information and then move to the bottom right and click OK. You'll now notice a banner appears across the bottom. Creating IOC report is running. This will take also anywhere between 5 and 10 minutes depending on your internet connection. Let it run its course until completed. Once it is completed, you'll see the banner across the bottom has changed to completed. In the left hand column now, you have a report that has appeared. As you can see, now you can click on this report. There's the exact same name of the indicator of compromise that we created back in Mandiant. You can double check it again. Yes, look, task 6 IOC, it's exactly the same. So we're on the right track. Now I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to move over to view hits, click view hits, and here, ladies and gentlemen, is all the information that you are going to require. MD5, hash, the owner, when it was created, the full path, access, method. Now click on the blue little eye, and it gives you more details. Some of the same details appear here as well, like full path. MD5 hash is here as well. There's your device path. Right, I think we have some of the answers to our questions. Let's move back over to our questions and answer some of the questions. Provide the path of the file that matched all the artifacts along with the file name. Here's the full path. Over here you can see the full path as well as on this other page, if you just click details and remove that, here's the other full path, exactly the same, so two places, copy and paste, provide the path where the file is located without including the file name, that's pretty straightforward, just remove the file name at the end of the one that you just entered, leaving out the last bit, which is the file name. Who is the owner of the file? Let's open. Oh, there's the owner, built-in administrators. And if we open up the uh, details, we should see it there as well. There we go. Built-in administrators. Copy and paste. 
That's your answer. Provide the subsystem for the file. I saw that there. Subsystem. There we go. Copy and paste. Provide the device path where the file is located. The device path is there at the top. Copy this on its own. Enter it. Provide the hash. SHA-256 for the file. We've been given MD5. You can see we've got the MD5 hash here. And we've got the MD5 hash here. So what I did was I copied the MD5 hash and I went to the website called virustotal.com. Opened this up and chose the search bar, entered the MD5 hash that was copied and hit enter. And that there looks like a SHA-256. That looks like our answer. Going to copy that and paste it and see if it works. It does. It's the same one. It's the answer. The attacker managed to masquerade the real file name. Can you find it having the hash in your arsenal? I saw a name underneath psexec.c it gave me an idea I clicked on the details tab and here you can see our md5 hash that we copied and pasted is identical and there's the SHA-256 so it's confirmed that our answer was correct scroll down to names and there we have our names, psexec.xe. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your final answer. Enter it. And task 6 is completed. Thank you for watching.